Hi folks and welcome to the front parlor of the 1925 bungalow. I'm Scott. I'm happy to say that this year I'm participating once again in the third annual Ho 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 collaboration Christmas tree decorating extravaganza hosted by Tammy at Vintage Uprising Texas and Martha with Vintage Conversation. I will link their channels in the description box below and I will try to include myself in the playlist. I'm not really good at this, but you can certainly check out Martha's channel and Tammy's channel. They, there will definitely be a link. Several folks uh, across the country are participating as we deck the halls. And so without running my lips anymore, let's get started. There's my Christmas tree. That's the corner where it goes, which means I get to move furniture. That chair right there goes over there where that Windsor chair is. That Windsor chair goes somewhere else, and everything else stays in place. Let's do it. Now, except for the computer router, which has to stay there, uh, we'll cover that up with the tr Christmas tree skirt. Now, before I actually take the tree and move it back in there in that corner, I'm gonna put the lights on it first. Now, this year, as opposed to last year, I'm actually using an artificial Christmas tree for various reasons, but uh, what I didn't realize when I got this tree, well, I did know that it had lights on it. I would have preferred to buy a tree without lights, and I know you can do that, but anyway. It's got lights on it, um, white lights, and you press a button and they blink, and then colored lights, colored lights come on and all this jazz. We'll look at that some other time. But I like using the old-fashioned C, seven and a half light bulbs. These are the incandescent, not LED, general electric light bulbs on old, Christmas tree strings from these really the 1950s and 60s. So I'm not using the old cloth cords. And uh, we use these on a dimmer switch because I like to keep the lighting uh, low and um, keeps them from uh, burning out as quickly and also uh, getting too hot. So we're gonna speed things up because you don't need to watch me run around in circles putting Christmas lights on. You've all been there, done that. Let's speed it up. I forgot to tell you at the very top of the tree, we are going to open up this box and inside we have a wonderful 1930s Noma um, electric star. Look at that. And this one does have its old cloth cord and its old bake light plug. We start with that and then we work our way down. Let's go. And now, it's time to twist, twist, and turn, turn. Hit the music! Okay, the lights are on the tree. Now, I'm gonna go over here and turn them on. You can't see me because I'm gonna be back there on the floor, but I'll be talking to you while I do it. And let me turn out these overhead lights. 
We're just gonna look at the lights first. I would like you to see what this tree looks like with the factory lights on it. Now, when I bought the tree, it came with the ability to do that. Those are the little tiny white lights. All right. I'm gonna be putting them on my dimmer switch so we can brighten and lessen the intensity. If you push another button, wow, you get multicolored little lights. Push it again. It's blinking. Push it again. It's blinking white lights. Now there's no way I'm having that blinking function on, I can tell you that. Push it again, we have blinking colored lights. Once more, this one fades in and out. Look at that, those are some special light bulbs. It goes from white to colored to white again. Can you see that? Oh, let me turn this off. That might help a little bit. Push it again. Now, you get the white lights. They're dimming themselves on their own. They're going up and down and up and down. I don't know if I'm crazy about that. Push it again. The colored lights are going to go up and down and up and down. Push it again and it will turn itself off. Now, the lights that I added to the tree, the old incandescent screw-in light bulbs from the 1950s and 60s, Let's see what they do. I just turned them on. And with my dimmer switch now, we will lighten them very gently. Now, I love that. And with the dimmer switch, I can slowly bring up my old light bulbs. Hey, there ain't nothing like that glow from a good old fashioned incandescent C7 and a half light bulb. And look at the star on the top of the tree. Now, I can see Oh, are you wondering what happens if we throw, up, throw the other one on? We blow the circuit box, no kidding. Look, I can turn that on. See, see, what function? Now we have to go through this whole series to get these things to turn themselves off. So let's do that and just get back to my little old light bulbs. Now the nice thing is if one of these bulbs burn out, it's a continuous circuit, right? It's not like those old, I've got some of them, and whoo, they're a mess. One burns out, the whole string is gone. What I'll do now, I'm not putting any more lights on that, because you know in the olden days, there was just a few strings, maybe one or two strings of lights, and that's it. But I'll move them around a little bit now that I can see. Ah, the green light bulb. It seems like the green bulbs always burn out. I don't know why. The green bulb in my Merry Christmas star is burnt out. That one's burnt out. That blue, nope, that blue one just, well, are you blue or green? Come on now. All right, we'll fiddle with you later. Don't worry if you think I don't have replacements. You know better than that. Oh my goodness, I have a gazillion of these light bulbs. So let me go and fix my light bulbs and I'll be back again. Well, the truth is, I'm not gonna be able to finish the entire project. You know, I've only got about, oh, one hour left, and I've gotta get this video uploaded, or Tammy in Texas will have a fit. No, she won't, but I wanna make sure it's on time. What I'm gonna do is come back, well, what I'm gonna do now is take my camera, play some pretty little Christmas music for you, I guess, and I'm just gonna show you the ornaments that are all boxed up, and then uh, sometime tomorrow, after I get my truck back, which is having new brakes put on it, I will um, then be able to place the ornaments on. And if you're kind of like me, putting those ornaments on the tree, I, every single one gets placed in a certain spot. And if it's not on there just where I want it, I have to fuss with it some more. So it'll take me at least an hour, maybe two, to get all the ornaments exactly like I want them on the tree, and maybe this year, tinsel, we'll see. So right now, we are going to simply turn the camera onto the old Christmas ornaments, some of which came from both sides of my family and have been around for a while, and some I've purchased and found at estate sales and this and that over the years. I wanna thank you for watching. It's not over yet, so stay tuned, and 
Be sure to come back later this week. You'll see everything decorated, including the final tree reveal. <laughs> And it's been a lot of fun. So I want to thank Tammy and Martha for asking me to participate. Please watch everyone's videos. And we hope that this Christmas season is warm and safe for you and your families. Okay, now let's go look at some old ornaments. And uh, I'll just go ahead and say, wait for the cat. And so long for now. Bye.